is they're probably if not the most one of the most talented teams in our league. They're like the top one or two in our league in total offense. Uh, they're top one or two in our league in total defense. And you don't have those stats out there if you don't have good players. So they've got excellent players. Uh, they got a quarterback that's thrown for a bunch of yards. They got a defense that's uh, been very stingy in the red zone. And, and stat wise, they're one of the top defenses, if not the top defense in our league. So. Anytime you go on a road, you got to take, of course, your toughness and your leadership. Uh, these four guys I mentioned will have to do that along with the rest of our players. So we got to have a great week of preparation. We get kind of a day ahead of things. We had a, a Tuesday night practice or Tuesday practice last night, so today's Wednesday, and uh, have two Thursdays and get our get ready, get ready to go play. So I know we're excited. Our players are excited and looking forward to the challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, as you mentioned, that's the one team I know that since I've been here, we've played every year I've been here. So, um, you know, been there multiple times. And that, that team, again, probably, uh, you know, as far as tradition in our league, I mean, you would think of uh, us and, and, and them as probably having more tradition and more history than probably anybody in our league as far as football is concerned. So, you know, that's an excellent team, as I mentioned before, and, uh, and Jay's done a nice job down there. So it'll be a great challenge for us that our players are looking forward to. Their scenario coming into this week, does that remind you of your old scenario down the stretch last year? They've lost a lot of close games, and it's just been a turnover here or there that's that's really hindered them. They're much better in three and four. Well, they are. I mean, like I say, you look, you know, if you look at, of course, stats don't you know don't mean a whole lot at times, but if you look at them statistically, you don't put up the numbers they've put up on on both sides of the ball if they don't have good players on offense and defense. And the other thing about you know, you guys have followed Southern Miss through the years, clear back in the days when they were beating Alabamas and all those people they were beating. You know, they're located in probably one of the most talent-rich, uh, you know, places in the, in the country that's got the best, you know, they got, a, you know, junior college football in the state of Mississippi may be the best there is, and they've got a lot of good high school players in that area, so they should be talented. I mean, and, uh, you know, if they do a good job recruiting, which I'm sure Jay does, they've got good players at every position. So, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, they are a talented team that, uh, you know, turnovers have been a problem for them, uh, you know, for in, and that's in you know, the reason they've lost a couple games there. Uh, so, you know, if they get that corrected, they're going to be a handful. So, you know, it's like I say, it's it's going to be all about us going down there and playing really well in, uh, in all three phases and continue what we've done the last couple games. So you all, you know, taking care of the ball was a point of emphasis the last couple games. You all have done it, but it, does that – Take on more meaning against Southern Miss. It well, seems like they grind the game away a little bit and, and like to win that time of possession battle. I think yeah, yeah. I think any any game you go into, you know, you, you number one, you got to play great defense. That's where it starts. And you hear me say it all the time. The last couple of weeks, we've played you know great defense. We've taken away the strength of that particular team, whether it be the vertical throws against Old Dominion and the run game against uh, FAU. And then uh, the thing offensively we talk about is taking care of the ball. We've done that, and then we've won kind of won the special team battles. So. I think every game you play comes down to doing those things. And if you can do that, then you got a great shot at winning the game. And there will be no different Saturday. How beneficial was it was over the week uh, for, for you and you know, and then recap Monday? I don't think there's any question, you know, that uh, you know, we've got a lot of guys that are back now. I don't foresee anybody not playing Saturday at this point. But, uh, you know, if we if we had had a game this past Saturday, there would have been three or four guys that wouldn't, wouldn't have played in that game. So I don't think there's any question that open date helped us a lot as far as Getting guys back and healthy, and uh, you know, got a four-game stretch now. You know, you're in a four-game stretch that every game's a championship game at this point. So you got to go get ready to go play them all, starting with of course Southern Miss. Yeah, Alex, I know that he sort of got thrown in, you know, immediately against Middle Tennessee and has built his way up. How important was last week for him to sort of get, you know, fine-tune the things with the receivers, especially it seemed like deep balls were right there and, and just a just a tick away from being connections. Yeah, I think uh, I think he's grown as a player and, and got more comfortable with every game he's played. You know, I think uh, you know, as you as well as I have, I think I you know, saw improvement from game one to game two to game three, and I expect the same kind of improvement uh, going into game four because he's a he's a competitive guy that works extremely hard at what he does. Thought threw the ball extremely well last night. I thought uh, in practice and see him getting better every week. So he's going to have to continue to do that this week. Well, he's back out there. He's back out in practice and uh, just throwing the ball around a little bit. We'll see. You know, but, uh, you know, Alex right now is our quarterback, and we'll move forward in that, in that direction. The running game with, you know, getting going the last couple of weeks and, and changing the dynamic up of the offense a little bit, how important is it to establish that, stay ahead of the sticks, like like what you all have done the last you know, few it's weeks? Always, it's always critical. And, and, 
you know, any, any, what you've got to be able to do, regardless of who you're playing, is take advantage of what they give you. And I think I think the last couple of weeks we've done that. You know, we've been able to run the football at times and, and got in that game in the fourth quarter in both those particular games and had the ability to run the football and put it away, which was, which was you know, critical on our part. So you have an ability to run it and, and we've got to throw it a little better, which I think we will, then uh, we should be fine. This one sort of has a – yeah, there's a lot of talk about offenses these days with college football. This one sort of has that old school feel of, you know, two really good defenses and a field position battle and, and all those things you're used to with that. Well, I mean, any time, I mean, you know, like I said, they, they play tremendous defense. You look at stat-wise, they're one of the top defenses in our league. And, you know, we take great pride in what we do here defensively. So, you know, I'm sure both defenses will play extremely well. And, you know, offenses, uh, you know, we work really hard taking care of the football and, and – uh, take advantage of what they give us. So it's, it's going to be a battle. We know that's going to be a physical game. It always is. I mean, time we play Southern Miss, it's an extremely physical game, and uh, it won't be any different on Saturday. Do you anticipate them being a tough matchup? Uh, I don't know. I'd be surprised. I'd probably, I would be surprised if they don't play the, you know, that number one offense or number two offense in the league, whatever they are, was behind the other guy, you know, and uh, he's thrown the ball really well. And, you know, the freshman went in there and played well. He did. So I would assume we'll see the starter. That it's been playing for him all year, and uh, you know we'll see. Okay, thanks, guys. Running downhill, aren't we? Yes, sir, buddy. <laughs>